Jack. It's Python on Hardware time. We do a newsletter. You can get the newsletter at Eight Root Daily. It is over 10,000 people subscribed to this weekly newsletter. No spam. No tracking. No, no, none of the things that I got sold out. Different. Yeah, you got. Yeah, my you got, phone got sold out. You I got text messages. I'm now I'm on the text message hell. So um, let's go over some of the things. Um, there's a Raspberry Pi model guide um, if you want to check it out on Raspberry Pi tips. There's a Raspberry Pi Connect remote shell access and support for older devices. They just announced that. That's kind of neat. Um, Bluetooth manager for Linux. That's kind of cool. I like this because it's so hard to use blues. Um, this Raspberry Pi patch boost performance up to 18%. Lots of Raspberry Pi stuff in this one because it's one of the... If you're, if you're running a Raspberry Pi, you're running Python. You just are. Pretty well, much. that's what the Pi and, Pi and Raspberry Pi stands for. You just pretty much are. Um, how to get started with the SP now. Um, Feather of the Day launched. We have a Feather of the Day series that you can check out um, on our website, and it'll also appear in the newsletter. And then there's a new podcast from um, people well known. Our favorite is people. In the maker we love everybody, but yeah, Paul and Todd. Yeah. Um, they did their uh, July 1st episode. They discussed a new tutorial from Professor John Gallagher using Circuit Python. This with is Python. their 10th episode, I think, or 11th. They're like, they just started, but it's like, it's already hop. I'm, I'm into it. The Bootloader is a cool name, too. It's a great name. Yeah. And two, like, such smart creative people with great voices so one of the things that we try to do with the newsletter is use the newsletter to lift up other people that's kind of our goal for all the things we do but check out the newsletter for other newsletters for other podcasts for other things things you probably like if you like python on hardware you're probably gonna like the bootloader podcast they talk about yeah obviously it's these two people yeah. love python um we have our projects of the week this is a spoke uh, cap touch board um check wheel out yep and it's like podcasts don't die they just turn into a different podcast <laughs> uh the the custom circuit board uses raspberry Pi pico usb midi and keyboard are all connected up via circuit python code it's all on github and then um, we have uh, our popular post of the week this is the best python cheat sheet and then um lots and lots and lots and lots of other projects the thing i thought was really cool no keep going down now, some of these things you know they've been on the chip i like this this e-ink pile yeah. there um keep going keep going um i'm i'm selfish so i'm, I'm very interested in then the c6 implementation of micropython that points to their github issue and apparently it's getting ready to be merged in so there'll be c6 support um we have circuit python support for c6 micropython 2. it's always good to have two implementations because one might work better than others in yeah. some cases um cool chip because it's um really focused on iot it's got wi-fi bluetooth and zigbee um 802.15.4 so it's good for, you know, like making little mesh networks, um, you know, point to point communication, uh, but you get all the, the benefits of, uh, you know, the risk five core and the ESP 32 chipset. So, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have the C6 feather out soon. So I'll probably make sure it works with MicroPython. Alrighty. Delivered each week. Like you said, spam free. We don't use your email address. Let's not sell you out. Like whoever sold me out. And now I get like 16 spam texts a day. Completely separate website, adafruitdaily.com has nothing to do with your store account because we respect your privacy and we hate spam more than you do.